Going through the list of all the operators made me come to the conclusion that Rainbow Six Siege is confusing to any new players trying to play R6. I mean, if we go down the list, you can't even tell which operator you should even run, or what's the best ability, or what should you even start with. And that's when it hit me. You need my help. So in this video today, I'm going to be showing you the best attacker and defender for every single rank in Rainbow Six Siege. Whether you're a beginner starting at Copper or a pro at Champ, we've got you all covered in this video. But before we get into it, make sure you guys hit that like, comment, and subscribe. We are on our way to 5k subscribers, so hopefully you guys help me and hit that subscribe button. Starting with Copper, our first attacker will be Ash. Ash is a solid choice for new players due to her simplicity and effectiveness. You must be out of your damn mind if you think I'm gonna tell a new copper or veteran copper player to pick Ash. Yeah, get the hell out of here. So now that we got that laugh out of the way, our first attacker is gonna be Thermite. Thermite is an easy operator to learn with a good primary weapon that boasts little to no recoil, which is a big deal for copper players. He also has the opportunity between either flashes or smokes, which you will learn which one to use depending on your playstyle or team needs. Another reason Thermite is the best choice is because he has the most important role in Rainbow Six Siege. Getting breach or wall is very important, actually the most important thing when it comes to attacking in Rainbow Six Siege. So learning how to use Thermite, learning how to deal with minimal recoil, learning how to get breach should help you learn how to get better at Rainbow Six Siege and rank up. Moving on to the best defender for a copper will be Bandit. If getting the wall is the most important goal to help attackers win rounds, then what do you think is one of the best goals for defenders in Rainbow Six Siege? Yes, that is right, stopping attackers from getting the wall. Bandit is arguably the best counter to Thermite or any operator that tries to get wall or breach. He boasts a decent loadout and comes equipped with a C4. I don't think I need to tell you what a C4 does in Rainbow Six Siege, but what I will tell you is please be aware of where you throw your C4 in Rainbow Six Siege so you don't blow up half your team and receive a ban. The reason I say decent is because the MP7 has more recoil than Thermite and might be very hard for a copper to control in the beginning, but if you can get his weapon in control, then using Bandit will teach you how to place the Bandit, successfully defend the wall, learn how to use the C4, and that will inevitably help you rank up and learn the game as a copper in Rainbow Six Siege. Moving on to Bronze, we have our first attacker and it's gonna be Thatcher. The reason I picked Thatcher is due to understanding more support roles or realizing how important it is to have other operators to help the team win. Without a Thatcher or any EMP grenades, then Thermite or any breaching operator can't get the wall, making it harder for you and your team to get into sight. You'll also be using a decent loadout with a low recoil weapon, helping you control your aim again, and Claymore is being able to prevent defenders from jumping out or flanks. And with the defender, we're gonna have to pick Capcan. Now the reason I say Capcan is truly to actually help you out. Bronze players are kind of slow and really unlikely to look at doors or windows or wherever you place your cap cans at. So I'm giving you this advice so you can get a couple free picks, but the best reason to use cap can is being able to learn the best spots to put utility to use and have the best possibility of stopping attackers from getting into sight. With that comes learning the map, so cap can will actually help you a bit since you have to move around and find out what do you think the best places or certain areas around the map to put your cap can traps. He also has a solid loadout with a low recoil weapon and a C4. You still have a possibility of blowing stuff up, but I'm going to trust you a little bit more since we're in bronze. So congratulations. And we are now moving on to silver. And with that, the first attacker is going to be Gridlock. Now, the reason I have Gridlock is because she can do almost anything in Rainbow Six Siege. And I want you guys to learn different aspects of the game, such as flank wide, all the defenders. Now, one of the ways defenders slow down attackers is making it harder for them to accomplish their goal is to roam around the map, not allowing attackers to gain control of certain areas. Yeah, and I bet you thought people were just roaming around the map and it wasn't a strategic part of a strategic game. Now, Gridlock has an ability which is a set of track stingers that deploy when thrown to cover an area that hurt the enemy when walking in them. That prevents people from flanking you when making a push and provides sound cue whether a defender tries to walk through it or shoot the track stingers. You will hear it, allowing you and your teammates to react. Gridlock also comes with an amazing loadout, a primary weapon with little recoil, a shotgun for a secondary, and the option of EMP grenades, smoke grenades, and regular grenades. Please be aware of where you throw your grenades. Yes, you can blow up half your team, and yes, you can receive a ban for it. So just be aware, just like you have a C4. And for the defender, I have Kate. Now the reasoning I have Kate is because I argue that Kate is the best at wall denial. He can throw his Kate claws in spots which make it harder for attackers to get breach or make it almost impossible to get entirely. He can Kate trick just like bandit tricking 
but the downside is he only has two Cade Claws compared to Bandit's four. But the pros for Cade is that his Cade Claws can actually get hatches and get almost the same amount as walls if placed correctly. He also has this Slug Shotgun with an ACOG, and in my opinion, this primary is an absolute beast. You have an ACOG for long range fights, you also have a C4 and K Claws that are more portable than Bandits and can get hatches and that's why I think he's the best wall denier. The only reason I say wait to silver is because his slug shotgun has decent recoil to it, but as a silver you should be better adjusted to recoil and hopefully you can control it. Now coming into gold we have the gold attacker himself Ace. Now that you're a gold I believe you have played enough games to get decent aim and overall Rainbow Six Siege knowledge. Now, Ace is arguably the best breaching op with the ability to throw breach charges from afar to get breach. This gives you less of a chance of dying while trying to get breached, since Thermite's exothermic charge has to be put on, allowing yourself to be open to getting swung and you can't do nothing about it, but Ace can throw his charges and react faster. Now, this breaching charge won't be as big as Thermite, but what he lacks in his breaching, his loadout makes up for it. He has arguably a top 5 primary weapon in the game with low recoil and the opportunity of Claymore stopping defenders from jumping out or any flanks. In for a defender we have Legion. Legion is probably the best defender of all Rainbow Six Siege and is an excellent operator to learn for beginners and low rank players as well, but I have him at gold. He has an amazing no primary weapon as well as a shotgun for secondary and the option for either sight blockers or a bulletproof camera. Now his best attribute is his contribution to the team with his shotgun that can make rotations of the site, open hatches, and make head height rotations in Rainbow Six Siege, which you will learn more about as you continue to play. But the biggest contribution he brings to the team is his goo mines. These mines cause damage to attackers, prevent attackers from planning, and provide sound cue for you and your teammates so you guys can react when trying to defend the site. And guess what? You get about eight to nine of these bitches! First, congratulations on hitting plat. So now I can trust you a little bit more, and now you have access to my favorite operator in Rainbow Six Siege. Plat, plat, plat. First, congratulations to I think Plat, and I can officially trust you a little bit more, so now you have unlocked my favorite operator in the game, Buck. He's arguably the best solo queue operator in Rainbow Six Siege. He can be aggressive with his amazing loadout. His gun is great, but it does have some recoil, but now that you're Plat, you should be able to have some decent recoil control. He has a shotgun for close range, soft breaches, and vertical control. He also can get breached if you use the shotgun to destroy any utility on the wall, either from upstairs or below, as long as it's soft, and then the can open is to open the wall. He can be used in any situation and is truly one of the best operators in the game. And for the defender, we're going to give you that OG throwback, Jaeger. Jaeger's active defense system can intercept and destroy projectiles, which is extremely useful against attackers who rely on grenades and other projectiles. His high mobility and strong weaponry also make him very versatile in Rainbow Six Siege. He does have competition with Wolf of Maya in the active defense part, but Jaeger is an OG who has always been good in Rainbow Six Siege. And here's a tip of Jaeger. Place your ADS devices in strategic common places where people throw projectiles to protect your teammates and the utility you guys want to use to help defend the site. At Emerald, we have the attacker Ash. Now the reason I have Ash for Emerald is because of what Ash is. She is an entry frag operator. She gets in quick and fast and wreaks havoc on the defense. Now she has breaching rounds to destroy soft breaches and utility. She also has claymores for flanks, but besides that she doesn't really bring anything crazy to the scene except running into the map and getting as many free picks as she can. I am trusting you as Emerald to have good enough to aim to be able to handle an R4C with ACOG as well. It's gonna be very hard to control for some copper to plats, but I'm trusting you. Now you have also unlocked one of the best defenders in the game, Doc. Doc can be used by any rank, but I don't know if I trust any copper to go player due to all Doc can do. He can single handedly set up sight with his short snub pistol and has barbed wire for utility. He has arguably one of the best primaries in the game in ACOG on defense. This allows him to be able to compete with attackers in long range capability fights, but his best ability is his healing ability. He has three stems that can fully heal any operator in Rainbow Six Siege. Now please know, and I cannot stress this enough, you have to press the RB button, yep, this one right here, in order to use your stem pistol. Do not press Y and bring out your regular Magnum pistol and press RT and shoot your teammates. Use the RB button. But the reason I say learn at plat is because for some reason people like to roam with Doc. Now that's why Coppers the Gold should not be using Doc. And I am trusting you plats to have more map knowledge in order just in case you are going to roam with Doc. So please, please don't mess this up. I'm trusting in you. At Diamond, we have Ram. I believe, like wholeheartedly believe, 
It's the best time for Diamonds to learn RAM because she is the perfect operator in my opinion. An R4C with ACOG, flashbangs, and a good gadget for vertical play and sound suppression. This operator just reeks of a Diamond the Champ type player. She is the premier vertical play operator and as a Diamond you should have good enough aim to where you can play vertically effective to grab a few picks and know when to throw your flashbangs to swing enemies and use your rams to suppress your sound, allowing you to sneak up into sight or on somebody. Now for the defender, this is arguably the best defender in the game. We have Mute, but I can only start trusting Diamond players to use Mute because of his loadout. His loadouts is one of the hardest in the game to control, but it's one of the best in the game as well. Let me break it down for you. He has a shotgun that can do sight holes, rotations, Head holes, you have everything you can do with a shotgun and it's great for close to mid-range combat. But when you get into the medium to long range combat, you have to use this SMG-11, which has an incredibly amount of recoil, which most coppers to emeralds, in my opinion, can't handle. So that's why I say it's hard to use Mute, and I say wait to Diamond because of his loadout. But Mew's jammers can deny entry and disrupt attackers' drones, making him a key defender against high-level coordination. His gadgets are great for counting drones and breaching attempts. Here's a tip. Place your jammers in locations that can disrupt the most critical entry points and gadgets. Now, we have finally made it to Champ. And I will say, just a reminder, that Champs can play any operators in Rainbow Six Siege because you've made it to Champ, you know how this game is, you're a great player. But... I think one of the best players for a champ to learn, if they haven't learned already, should be Dokubi. All champs know, Dokubi should be present in a stack at all times. With her ability to get cams, clear out roamers, flashbangs, or even pure grenades, and a great loadout with a DMR or the boss G and SMG-12 as a secondary, there's not really much more you need with an operator. Until she is nerfed, Dokubi is one of the best attackers in Rainbow Six Siege. And lastly, we have Azami. Do I really need to say much? She can create one-way angles that give defenders huge advantages in gunfights regardless of her loadout. Of course her Q barriers can be destroyed, but she has plenty more to use and if put in the correct positions with the correct operators, she could single-handedly shut down entire sites or entrances to sites, making it so much harder for attackers winning or even getting close or a chance to plant the defuser. And that wraps up our guide on the best attackers and defenders to learn in every rank in Rainbow Six Siege. Hopefully these tips help you get better and hit that rank that you want to hit. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you guys tune into my other content and videos. And make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Come out and check out the other videos. And I'll see you soon for the next video.